I've been traveling a lot teaching animation. Really testing and developing so many different techniques for the, the quickest and most efficient way for people to learn natural, realistic body language. As she's landing, it's a very open position. Her spine is curved backwards. Her chin is generally away from her torso. Her arms are open, her fingers are open. As you go into the ball, the stretch. Feel how much your spine is curving, and then slowly start stretching out and feel how your spine, flowing all the way up into the back of your neck, starts curving in the opposite direction. This was a chance for me to put everything I've learnt together into something that was the most responsive way for people to learn how the human body moves, specifically for stop motion. <laughs> I'll put pressure on the toes while I push the knees back with this finger, and with this one I'm pushing the, the hips forward. What I'm hoping is that the toes come up of their own accord. So what's wrong with that? It's going to get slower again. Yeah. So you're completely right. As you said, Laura. When you get to here, you almost need to work backwards again yeah. and fill it all in. Yeah. And this is developing what we call your instinct for animation mm -hmm. timing, which is especially important in stop motion. For me to have a workshop where I get to invite people to my home has been stunning. It's been wonderful to share that with everyone. I'm going to say a big thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> and because I'm here, I'm able to bring so many more personal items from different productions that I can share with people, things I've never shown before. That's been really, really rewarding. I think Tim's doing a really good job of like always demonstrating like all of like the moves. He just keeps telling us the same like principles over and over again, but like in different ways. I feel like now it's really sticking. Like when I'm like doing my shot now, I'm like, oh, this could be like a closed part and this could be like an open part and this will move into that. Yeah, it is crazy to be like in the same room as the person who animated on all these massive films. <laughs> yeah. And that he's like talking to you and telling you what you're doing well and what you aren't doing well. I really want to nurture an environment where people interact and they discuss and critique their own work. Um, I want to get rid of the idea of making mistakes. It's all about an exploration and I want to have a dialogue where people are discussing what works, what doesn't work and I want to keep it open and fun. Um, sharing, laughing, and enjoying the process, enjoying the exploration. Opens out like that. Eventually, we'll do more of the topic and we'll be kind of cowering. We used a lot of reference material, so frame by frame we were studying shots to see things that were successful and also see things that weren't successful. I showed a lot of my own mistakes. The ambition was to take complex human movement and make it simple to understand and portray through a stop motion puppet. What really excites me is that things that the attendees would have found really difficult on the first day, through repetition and through added complexity, they're animating that on the last day as if it's easy and natural. The idea of pulling a punch and punching, and it's, this starts to move, and then it pulls the torso. There's a torso movement as well. You look up, the torso stretches. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> okay.